Hey there guys! I know this is a different video from what I normally post, but I thought that I'd try and see if this would get any traction. Anyways, so let's get into drawing hands. Also, this method works for me and it might not work for you and that's okay, we all have different methods of drawing. For the palm of the hand, what I do is I make a pentagon, I think that's the shape, um, and then I add boxes onto the sides of it and not like how it's drawn here, but kind of more put together, so it kind of looks 3D. So once you put it all together, um, you can twist and turn the little shape and draw it differently so that way it has different perspectives, which is what you can see on screen now. So the fingers, I feel like this is the part people struggle with the most when it comes to drawing hands. And for the fingers, I would start by putting the palm down, then taking lines and placing them how long the fingers need to be and where the fingers need to be. And then on screen, you're going to see that um, at the joints, there's going to be lines, but there's going to be cubes building up to those lines at each joint. Uh, making the finger like shape. Uh, I personally don't even have to do this anymore because I've been practicing for a while and hands just come natural so maybe if you try this a lot it'll, you'll have the same outcome. And now over the sketch we're going to draw another sketch on top of it just to see how it would look with line art and then we're going to roughly fix up anything that is uh, wrong or anything that looks wrong and now it's time for the line art so practically for the line art, all you gotta do is kind of trace over it and then make sure you didn't miss anything at all. And then boom, done. After that, you just color it in. And now it's time for sheeting. So on here you can see that I'm adding a light bit to the hand because people of color do have a, a lighter palm. The, the skin on their palm is lighter than the rest of their hand. So that's what I'm doing here. Anyways, after that, you just go on another layer, multiply, etc. Just do the normal shading things, but kind of focus on between the fingers because that's where the shadows will most likely fall, depending on where the light is. But we're assuming that the light is just falling on top of where the palm of the hand is right now. Now what I'm doing is, at the um, tips of the fingers and other things, like, it's like how you would add blush to a face, but since if you look at your fingers and knuckles, etc., it's kind of, you know, it's kind of red. So that's what I'm adding to the tips of the fingers. So, let's do another hand. But this time, we're going to do it so we can face the, I don't know the name of the outside of the hand, not the palm, like, not the actual palm, but, yeah. Here you can see that I am drawing a knuckle right there before the index finger.
I would have to say that drawing a hand from the backside view is very similar to drawing it from the front side view. It's just that the placement of the fingers are a bit different. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit lower because of uh, the webbed bits between your finger. So the little lines between your fingers are, <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining this, but they're lower on your hand. Plus you gotta shade the knuckles and every joint in your fingers. Also, um, the placement of the thumb looks a bit different because you don't really see that that one weird bump thing that hands have on thumbs. I'm really bad at explaining things, so I'm sorry if that made no sense at all. Drawing post hands is very similar to what I just did. Practically when you're drawing the lines for the fingers, you can just kind of bend them. And then you do the same steps until you get to the finished product. The final tips and tricks that I have is one, please, 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 please use references. It is so useful. It always helps improve my drawings by a long shot when I do. Like you can use your own hand, you can use a reference that you Googled. Just please use references. It is so good to use references, please. Um, so other things that I'd say is don't, don't draw the entire nail by drawing each individual nail and each individual wrinkle on each individual joint. It, like, depending on how stylized your hands are, it looks really odd, especially if you have a very stylized art style that's very cartoony, or like if you're going for some kind of, I don't know, just, sometimes it looks really odd, unless you're going for like hyper-realism or realism. I would try to avoid that. Um, some other things I might want to add. Please watch some other videos on this. This video is definitely not the best out there. I would say that it's it's a start, but I would recommend some other to watch some other videos too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys have any tutorials that you'd like me to do or any video requests, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Goodbye.